Hey Snackers, this is Kareem Iskander. Hey everyone, Matt DiNapoli here. Welcome to episode 145 of Snack Minute. Uh, this week we have our old-time guest, uh, Quinn Snyder. He's going to be talking to us about the uh, Nexus dashboard learning path uh, that's being added to RevUp. So Quinn, uh, Beard is looking fantastic. Uh, why don't you talk to us about the, uh, the <laughs> Nexus dashboard learning path? Yeah, thanks, Matt and Kareem. Thanks for having me again. I know you guys are always sick of me at this point. And, but yeah, so so the the Nexus dashboard learning path is actually pretty exciting. Like I, I know uh, a lot of the times that I've been on, I've talked uh, probably ad ad nauseum around data center, all of the stuff that came in with DC networking and things like that. And this is a, a way to get the the technology and some of the new stuff that's come out from the the data center networking team and put it into the hands of our community in a way that they can explore and learn all of the new things that have happened uh, with all of our software platforms and how they can manage uh, their data center efficiently, not just from the platform itself, but it actually dives a little bit deeper into some of the technologies around Nexus and, and EVP and VXLAN and how to manage all that. So it's a really comprehensive learning path and i'm really excited that it's uh being added to our rev up campaign for 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 the end of starting at the end of may and for those who are not familiar with the rev up uh program or campaign it's uh, an opportunity for you to get um continual educational credit uh for that goes towards your recertification and this is on cisco u today and so you could uh just go in and Complete that learning path, do the post assessments, and then uh, claim automatically get uh, your CE credit. But um, with that, can you tell us a little bit from a learning perspective, uh, Quinn, what is it that as a learner I'll be seeing in that learning path and what would I be learning? Sure. I mean, so so like I talked about, you know, Nexus dashboard itself is kind of a, a, a new approach to how the data center management has gone down. So there's a couple of different um, collections within the the learning path itself and they're broke you know three major topics really so at the beginning uh the learners will start off with a pre-assessment and then they'll jump into kind of the, the nexus dashboard essentials how have we fundamentally changed our data center management platform so we've gone from a monolithic app to something that's more microservices based how we've changed the licensing how you install the software how you put packages in on top of that really the the management and operations of nexus dashboard so it becomes a platform for all of your data center um network and 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 visibility and observability and stuff like that so you get we start off with just setting the base level foundational understanding of of what nexus dashboard is how you install license and run it and then something that's a little bit closer and, and near and dear to my heart is is the second part uh, when we talk about nexus dashboard fabric controller so ndfc as it's as usually rec, uh, uh, referred to as is like the next generation of our data center network management platform. So back in the day, DCNM was really kind of a, a monitoring and management of your of your data center network. And now it's become a full fledged operational tool so we can um, deploy or we can manage not only our Nexus switches, but we can start deploying EVP and VXLAN fabrics. We can do image management, template management, all of these things that really incorporate the management of our of our data center. And then going a little bit deeper into the weeds and the third part, uh, something that I'm really happy to see is how we actually manage the data center uh, using NDFC, including things like REST APIs and how do we migrate from DCNM to NDF NDFC. So really getting that full fledged operational life cycle. So it's really a, a very comprehensive um, learning path, pre and post assessments at the top of each section, lots of, of coursework. I mean, you can see here we've got probably close to uh, what, 15, 13 and 13. So we've got, you know, like 50 hours worth of content that's in here. So it's a very comprehensive learning path that's available to really to get to take you from almost no experience with it within uh, Nexus dashboard to an NDFC, you know, practitioner in, in a short amount of time. Um, you mentioned some of the REST API stuff. Um, is this just uh, an exposure to the REST APIs, or do you guys get into use cases in the learning path there? Uh, a lot of it's just exposure to them. I mean, so so because this is is geared not just for the developer, but all you know the whole full fledged practitioner, it's exposure to them. And and the best part about it is is it will link some of the the calls or when you do this action within the GUI, it'll link it back to some of the APIs so you can kind of get that that gap and, and understanding of, of of how we bridge those two things. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like completing an entire you know data center management using the REST APIs, but being able to link those two <laughs> points from UI to to uh, to API. Um, this is going to be a huge stupid question and maybe we'll cut this out. We'll see. But uh, does ACI fit into this conversation as well? So in terms of this learning path ACI 
isn't incorporated into the the actual learning path. Now, uh, Nexus dashboard does have applications that sit on top of, um, uh, sorry, ACI has applications that sit on top of ND. So you've got the Nexus dashboard orchestrator, and we are bringing in capabilities to manage both ACI and uh, EVPN VXLAN fabrics within NDFC. But that's a little more of a of an advanced use case, and so it's a little bit outside of this this learning path. It's really from kind of a, a zero to intermediate level, not the zero to complete expert. Fair and enough. and it's free, and you get to learn something new, and you get research so recertified the ability to recertify. So it's uh, it's a win win to everybody. Um, snackers, um, I know we're at time, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna ask you a question. Why did you have a bag of gummy bears behind you? <laughs> I was actually kind of curious to see if you'd noticed that. Um, it's. Uh, Kind of a, a a known entity within the the cycling community that uh, instead of buying really expensive um, nutritional fuel for the bike, sometimes you just bring a big bag of gummy bears. So uh, my wife, uh, while she may regret giving me access to the uh, to the online purchasing account, I did buy twenty pounds of gummy bears over the weekend. Twenty <laughs> pounds of gummy bears. That's five pounds. That's, that's sitting in the background. So we might have a new nickname for Quinn. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Quinn, thanks for joining us uh, this week. Uh, snackers, go check out the uh, RevUp campaign and go check out the uh, Nexus dashboard learning path within it. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Thanks, Quinn. Thank you, Snackers.